the Tin Walled Hill in St John's, Isle of Man. Morning, how are you doing? Well, today we're in St John's, which is a couple of miles inland from the west coast, and uh, it's a lovely little village. Now, every uh, year on the 5th of July, we have a ceremony in here, and it's uh, about our government, our parliament, because we are the oldest continual parliament in the world, over a thousand years, yes. And uh, it's very traditional, and we have like fireworks, we have a big fair with all sorts going on, really good. And it's a lovely spot down here. There's a church just behind me. And uh, this little hill here is called Timwald Hill. And this is where the ceremony takes place. And uh, that hill is a four tier mound and it's made up from soils from 17 different parishes on the island. But more importantly, there's a pub. The last pub left in the village of St. John's. Now years ago, there used to be four, but now there's only this left and it's called the Timwald Hill Inn. And uh, we're gonna go for a pint in there soon, but I'll just take you around the pubs while I've closed down. All right, crack on Dave, cheers. <laughs> so, that building you can see behind me was a pub called the Ballacrane Hotel, cracking old boozer, and it was shut down in 1984, and it starred in that famous TT film called No Limit, where the motorcyclist, George Shuttleworth, went right through the pub and ended up in the bar on his motorbike. Fantastic. Wouldn't mind that, would you? So that's the Ballacrane Hotel, and uh, that's the first pub. Let's go to our second pub. Where stood now is where the second pub got shut down, called the Farmer's Arms, and another name called the Central. And it was right next to the old steam trains that used to come past here. And uh, in the late 70s and the 80s, my uncle Eric and my auntie Doreen were the landlord and landlady of the pub and they ran it really well and their pub Sunday lunches were the envy of the Isle of Man were fantastic and many years later I became a member of St John's Cricket Club and we used to go here for the after match drinking and uh, sometimes pre-match <laughs> you can't beat it can you and uh, yeah it was great and uh, it closed down over 10 years ago, probably about 15 years ago, and about eight years ago, it was raised to the ground. And it's such a shame, because it was a great community pub. And uh, yeah, sadly missed, farmer's arms. Right, on to the next one. Now, the third pub was closed down, it's supposed to be this building here, and it was called The Junction. Now, you'll only remember this if you're about 100 years old, because I think it shut down in the 1940s. And uh, it lies between where the farmers was and the Tim Wald Hill pub at the top. Now the only thing I know about this pub, they had a landlady with an unusual name called Maudie Pink Draws. Very strange. Right, on that note, let's get to the pub. Cheers. Bush's Brewery, Manx Bitter, 3.8%. Right, so there I am in the Tim Wald Hill in finally. And uh, lovely and cosy, look at that fire there, lovely and cosy. I've got my pint here, I oh, can't go wrong. So, this is the pub what's uh, reinvented itself a little bit because the local post office and shop shut down. And uh, now this is turned into the community shop and you can get your milk, your bread, your potatoes, your eggs, your cheese, your newspapers even. And uh, it's fantastic really, just coming here and what, everything you need. Not like Tesco's, but I prefer coming in here because you can't get a pint in Tesco's, can you? <laughs> so anyway, and carrying on the theme of reinvented itself, it's got a little Italian restaurant in the back and then that's looking quite good as well. So uh, yeah, it's a pub what's uh, moving with the time because the rest of the pubs in St John's are all closed now. So good to see, and it's really cosy, look at that. Another good thing about this pub, it provides a warm space for the local community, you know, if you're lonely or you're a pensioner, and you can come in here, have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, sandwich, like me, have a pint, and uh, it's really good, so very good for the community. Now, I've just got a pint of Bush's Bitter, I've, you've seen me drink this before, uh, it's a beer, uh, it's a session beer, 3.8%, it's Fuggles and uh, Goldings, hops, straightforward, no nonsense, and I'm going to have a sweat. We'll be fruity nose. Nice. Very simple, 
Obsession beer. Some of the best beers are simple, like Bolt Maker from Timid Taylor's, Beats and Bitter. And this is the same, it's just fruity, malt background, and it's just refreshing and a, just an everyday beer. It's really nice. Mmm. Sitting by the fire having a pint. Can't beat it, can you? Now, I've mentioned uh, my Uncle Eric before. I used to have another uncle called Uncle Frank, and he was a bit strange. He used to take me up the hill up there, the mountain, and uh, he used to put me inside a tyre and roll me down the hill. But when I look back, I think they were the good years. But uh, another thing he used to do, he was a terrible ventriloquist, he really was and used to put his fingers up my bum and tell me not to say anything. That's a bit strange, isn't it? That's Uncle Frank for you. Well, the village of St. John's is dominated by the mountain up there called Sorellian, which means witch's mountain. And years and years ago, if they thought you was a witch, they'd put you inside a spike barrel and roll you down the hill. And if you survived that, they said you're a witch and they'd execute you anyway. Why me? I'd like to be a woman in days. Shocking. Yes, Bush is bitter. Malt fruit balance is excellent on this beer. Only two hops and it just does the job. Really nice. With the coal fire, you can't beat it. So Tim Wall Hill in, excellent. It's reinvented itself good for the community and uh, a very very cozy pub and in the other room it's got a little italian restaurant so very good and it's right in the heart of st john's cheers everybody so you've got your lovely cozy fireplace and you've got the television in the corner we swing round to the bar, which usually has two cascales on, usually Oakles and Bushes Bitter. And then we swing round to the shop, which sells your potatoes, your fruit and bread, your cheese, your bread, your milk, and even the newspapers. And now we come round to the bar area, where you sit and have a pint by the cosy fire. Look at that. Fantastic. So, well done the Timwald Hill, very cosy pub and I must say, doing its best for the community and reinventing itself like that, excellent job, these pubs got to try their best to survive. So well done them. Now I'm at Peel Cemetery just down the road from the pub and I mentioned the uh, Farmer's Arms, what my Uncle Eric and my Auntie Doreen used to run and they are laid to rest here and as is my mum and dad believe it or not and it's a lovely place, it's a great place to come and down and pay your respects I must say. Yes, nice. And just all behind me is Slowellian, where my Uncle Frank used to throw me down the hill in the tyre. Yes. So anyway, uh, I've just seen six blokes carrying a coffin. And I went that way and that way and walking around in circles. I've been doing it for half an hour. I really think they've lost the plot. Really do. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, tune in once again. And if you're not subscribed, give it a whirl. But you don't have to. Cheers, folks. Thank you. Bye-bye.